Domino's Pizza post game show and the coaches interview brought to you by Winners Insurance. Jack Cornell joining us here after tonight's loss at the hands of Luther and St. Charles. I know that you were frustrated after the modern day game because you didn't think your team came out ready to play. I know that you were frustrated by the turnovers last week. Was tonight just a matter of that was just a really good team? Yeah, I mean, obviously they've, they've got a lot of playmakers. Uh, you know, again, I think for the third week in a row, we just came out and not really excited to play. Uh, which is the most frustrating part, you know, because I try to pride myself on being able to motivate our football team and our coaches being able to motivate our football team and, uh, you know, put them in a spot to succeed. Um, obviously, you know, Lutheran's got a lot of really good football players. Arlen Harris Jr. is going to make a name for himself at the next level once he gets to Stanford, no doubt. Uh, same thing with all their big guys up front, you know. But, uh, I mean, really what it boils down to is we just got to play better. Uh, and more inspired and with more enthusiasm, and that just wasn't the case for us tonight. How much do you take? I, I know it was forty-nine to nothing, but your team drove down it was the forty-nine field. to seven. Uh, yeah, but, but you, your team drove down the field at the end of the game, and instead of just you know laying down, they, they scored. They drove the ball down. Do, do you get? Is that? I, I don't want to get into moral victories, but the fact that you scored on them, how does that help you as you leave tonight's game? Does that do much? No. Okay. So. Now you've got two games left. Mm -hmm. you, I, the playoffs are still within reach. We're not even talking about that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we've lost three in a row now. And right now we have to focus on Granite City. You know, I mean, for, for all we know, next week is the last time that these seniors will ever play on this football field. Because that's the way the football works. Uh, and, you know, we've been trying to tell these guys for four years. And listen, as a school, that's what we tell these freshmen when they come in. It'll go in the blink of an eye. And before you know it, you'll be walking across the stage at graduation. You'll be playing in your last home football game. You'll be doing all these things for the last time. And here we are. So, you know, these guys got to understand that uh, the window of opportunity is not just closing. It's rapidly closing. Um, and for us, you know, to for sure have one more game here next week. Listen, if, that's, if that doesn't motivate you, then I don't know what will. And obviously, you know, homecoming brings its own set of distractions and its own set of deals. But... Uh, we're on a three-game losing streak, and if we're focused on anything other than beating Granite City, it's like, well, what are we, what are we doing this for? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to us who wins the float building contest. It doesn't matter, you know, that your homecoming date's got a red dress or a yellow dress or whatever it is. I mean, we have to beat Granite City. Uh, we're not even, not even talking about the playoffs right now. You know what how's, I'm saying? Your, how's your team psyche right now? I mean, this isn't, this doesn't happen around here a lot of times. How, how is your team? holding up through this well obviously not good if we're losing three games in a row in the way that we did the last two weeks so we got to figure something out hey coach appreciate the time thank Thanks, you guys. very much appreciate it. we'll see you next week yep. hang in there